fuel made from plastic waste with this machine right here. Look at all of those vapors and oils coming from plastic waste. Also take a look at the natural gas production. Natural gas comes from plastic waste as well with this process. Let's be real, plastic waste is not trash, it is energy. Once again, this is from plastic waste. Look at it, beautiful red color as is, unrefined, unclean. Let's do it. Turn in plastic waste into energy right here, period. Nature jab. What up, bro? How you doing? I just ate some really good chicken. I hope you're doing well. He created a revolutionary piece of technology that's gonna change the world. Figured out how to convert plastic into fuel. Now he's technically a backyard scientist, but if he gets enough funding, support, and if we give him the attention he deserves, most of the stuff on Instagram is degenerate content, pointless brain rot. But when I came across his channel, I was shocked to see that this dude was able to figure out how to convert plastic into fuel. He made a machine like a some sort of reactor. I'm gonna put a breakdown how this machine turns plastic waste into three of some of the most valuable products on earth. We load finely shredded plastic mixed with carbon in the reactor. Once the plastic and carbon mix is put in this machine, there's a magnetron is in every microwave oven and it's what creates the microwaves. Microwaves go in there and bombard the plastic and form nucleation points 1000 degrees Celsius and over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit potentially. And that plastic ends up being broken down into a crude oil vapor and that crude oil vapor comes up through here. It reaches a condensing system. The condensing system cools it down and it forms the liquid. It's essentially raw crude oil. It's a mix of gas gasoline, diesel, jet fuel. Right off the bladder, the natural gas product burns pretty clean. Take a look, all that's left of the plastic is carbon and minerals. When this carbon is properly purified, this can be made into lab grade diamonds, for example, or anything else that is carbon based. And this carbon here is full of metals and minerals and other recoverable items. Some aluminum, these things can be sold and filter it out and basically he's able to turn plastic waste bottles old plastic that you don't need he's able to turn that into diesel fuel gasoline carbon dust he used the gasoline he was able to convert to Moe's lawn to fuel other machines now this dude's name is julian brown and his instagram is nature jab it's a very very interesting instagram page because he basically built this microwave pyrolysis reactor he was able to make pure carbon from plastic waste using this reactor but this is a very interesting piece of technology his entire Instagram page is dedicated to turning plastic into fuel. Think about this for a second. Let that sink in. You know how much plastic is in the ocean, on the streets, in the gutters, on the floor, at the beaches, just literally taking up space, polluting the earth? He's able to take trash that nobody has a use for and turn it into free energy. Do you know how crazy that is? Bro, people need to understand that this technology will 110% change the world. He literally found a solution for pollution, the energy crisis, overabundance of plastic waste. Now the crazy thing that happened is one of his reactors exploded and he was in the hospital for like a couple of months maybe a couple of weeks but the pictures of his injuries are really gruesome he like burned his feet he burned his legs it just goes to show how dedicated someone is to changing the world to perfecting their craft and this dude's not creating some freaking backyard science experiment no this is a piece of technology that's going to be used for centuries to come now me personally i think someone's going to want to like take advantage of this technology without giving them credit that's why i want people to really take action take notice that this dude created this first how does this dude even figure out how to build a reactor that's never been made before maybe there's like a model that is maybe somebody has done this before but for him to do this in his backyard with his own materials supplies and his own blueprints this is insane to me bro look at the materials he's using to build this machine this he puts the plastic into his machine then it heats up to over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit to break it down into a point where it can be turned into fuel. Imagine being this dude's cousin or brother, like bruh, your parents are gonna be nagging you like crazy. Why can't you be like Julian, bruh? He created a reactor that's able to turn plastic into money and you're over here in your room jacking off doing whippets. What the hell, bro? Why can't you create a nuclear reactor like your cousin over there? And another thing is, once he converts this plastic into fuel, he tests it by actually using it to ignite a match, using it as fuel for his lawnmower, using it for some sort of engine. He like he proves that his method works. Hopefully, he gets a patent for his technology because people are gonna want to steal this. They're gonna want to sabotage it. They're gonna want to do all this stuff to basically stop him from creating free energy or basically turning plastic into money, bro. Because plastic is garbage. Right now, plastic doesn't break down on its own. It's there forever. It's there for hundreds to thousands 
thousands of years because it doesn't break down. And he's able to find a purpose for having plastic. All the plastic in the ocean and trash, all the plastic in the gutters. He's basically turning trash into gold. This is amazing, bro. Instagram needs to push more of this content. I'm glad I found his page. Follow him on Instagram at NatureJab. You're going to be amazed at what someone can do when they have a purpose, a mission, and they don't stop for any reason, bro. Everyone needs to send positive energy his way, support, and I can't wait to see how far this technology goes.